Hey guys, <coughs> uh, Daniel Denbo here from Daniel Denbo SEO. How are you? Okay, hey, we got a question here from uh, somebody in the uh, Quora who basically asked how to optimize a website. So, uh, in my opinion, here, the best way to optimize a website this year would be to, first of all, set up Google Analytics in uh, Google Search Console, Search Console, obviously. You wanna make sure that those two are operational and setting up and working on your website. Those are very crucial these days. So once you get those set up, you want to you know make sure you hook your website to them. And to do that, you know there's obviously tutorials out there all over the place that you can uh, put them on. The next thing you wanna do is make sure that your uh, your website is secure, so you want a SSL package on there, which is you know the HTTPS. So if you see the Google C package right here is secure, see their site right there is secure, and you want that HTTPS version. I think it's like a hundred bucks a year, something like that, or a hundred bucks to secure it. Whatever you can find them cheaper out there. Some of them are free, whatever. Anyway, that's uh, one major thing you would definitely want. <clears throat> is that uh, Google sees that as a uh, safety factor that your site is, site is secure. Uh, the next thing is, let me show you an example here of, um, on an Allstate website. Well, the next thing that you want, you want to make sure that your site has a robot.txt file. Text. As you can see, uh, Allstate does have one. Well, it's a 404. Let's see, uh, it went to the 404 page, so for some reason their website is not working our robots. I probably spelled it wrong, .txt. There it is. As you can see, they definitely have one. They, they have their sitemap actually in their robot.txt file, which is where it's supposed to be, and one of the places it's supposed to be. So that's one thing, and then you also, of course, you wanna make sure that they have their site map, site map dot xml also let's see if they got it i'm sure they do and i must have spelled it wrong again site map dot xml and there it is okay so you basically want google analytics Google Search Console, your secured version of your website, your robot text, your site map, and you definitely want an about page. You want a, let me see what Google, or this, we're using Allstate for an example today. <clears throat> They're a pretty good website. See, they've got a contact us page. I'm sure there's an about page here somewhere, you know, about their company, whatever. It's probably on here somewhere. Yeah, whatever. It just it shows the Google that you have a safe website. And you also want a terms of service page and a privacy policy page. I mean, that's basically this, the several things that you're looking for in a, a website for Google. And you want to make sure you don't have any 404 pages like we just seen a minute ago, like where I spelled misspelled something. So you don't want to, you'll make sure all your 404 pages that aren't, uh, Make sure that if you have any, that you threw them on them. And to learn more information about that, of how to do that, uh, we have a, a lot of videos, or you can just, uh, I have a free, right now, a free 85 point inspection, a checklist for an audit. It comes with a free roadmap of the top 10 critical issues that you have on your website. And if you can contact me at Daniel, I'm at DanielDenbo.com. That's my website. It's under, uh, it's being right now redesigned. We're redesigning it, so it's not live. Uh, you will get a contact page. You can see it up here if you see. Right now, the only thing you're going to see is, you know, my, obviously, my roadmap and all that. But you'll see right now that it's going to be under this. You'll see this. We're doing some work on the site right now. It's, uh. We're definitely uh, trying to make it a lot better, better looking. Anyway, you, know, you can contact me directly, 740-400-0035. I do have an 85-point checklist uh, that I'm doing for a free audit right now. 
It's going to cover a bunch of basic stuff. Um, it's going to cover stuff kind of like, let me show you an example here. Let's see if I can drag this over. It's not one to drag. All right, so. This is the page here. This is what I'm doing for a friend of mine right now. And as you can see, we already started it. This is basically uh, what you're going to get. This is basically the 75 or 85 different things we're going to go over in the audit. We're going to make sure your site's mobile friendly. You got good site search. You got good breadcrumbs on the site. We're going to check the, you know, your Google My Business optimization, uh, stuff like that. That's the kind of stuff we're going to look at. And uh, make sure all your thank you pages are no indexed, uh, your PDFs are no indexed, all that. And uh, you can see we already started his site. Uh, he's already got some problems that we've figured out. And that's basically uh, what it is right here. So if you want a free audit, if you're looking for a free audit, we are offering one right now. Uh, it's an 85 plus point checklist, which was that was it. Uh, give you the top 10 critical issues that you need to fix on your site. It's going to cover basically all this, helping you, showing you what you're going to do to set this up if you don't know how. But other than that, just hey, just contact me, Daniel Denbo. I am at DanielDenbo.com or my phone number. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos. And you guys have a great day out there.